Research in this department probes into the depths of the molecular basis of life. So we have a, a strong group here looking at the structure of molecules, how those molecules are built, how they fold, how they function, really at a deep atomic level. So we have a mixture of PhD and master students um, who the best of them typically win uh, national and international level fellowships for their research programs. We have an excellent undergraduate program with core lower level courses that give students a really solid foundation in molecular biology and biochemistry. Students uh, absolutely uh, do research in the sense that they carry the main thrust of our research. So we get tons of opportunities here. Um, when we start out, we just do some of the basic lab duties, such as making media or mixing solutions for some of the older students. But as we get more trained, we're given more freedom. And with uh, classes like the undergraduate uh, research programs, we get to actually design and propose uh, projects for ourselves to do. When I first started off, I, I was just looking for some volunteering experience. And there were multiple labs that were available to me to participate in. And after that, I was also able to get a paid position. I was also able to get university-based awards like scholarships. Our undergraduate students are involved in research within the department. They also go out into the community and um, do co-op programs from four to eight months out working for biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies. My laboratory is really interested in understanding the role of nucleic acid in the early evolution of life. This is a 3D printout of the class 1 ligase. It's, it's a ribozyme or an RNA that has a three-dimensional fold, which you're seeing here. This particular RNA just joins two RNA strands together. What we've done in the lab is take this ribozyme and evolved it into a polymerase that is able to extend an RNA uh, template with, by multiple nucleotides. Microbial pathogenesis, uh, infectious disease research that takes place in my lab is focused on type 4 pili, which are hair-like filaments present on the surfaces of many bacteria. We use electron microscopy and x-ray crystallography to study the functions and the structure of these hair-like filaments and genetics to try to understand the structure-function relationship. We're really interested in examining this process of assembly and disassembly, not just because these pili are fascinating molecular machines, but because they're important targets for new classes of antibiotics. Our lab does two kinds of AIDS research, or HIV AIDS research. Two of the most important things that researchers around the world are looking at is one, how to make an effective vaccine, and two, how to cure the virus. Our lab uh, looks at T-cell vaccine ideas, so that's um, where white blood cells, or T-cells, are destroying and cleaning out uh, HIV-infected cells or parts of your body. We look at the virus carefully and we look at viruses in lots of different people to try to determine patterns in how the virus evolves so that we can more rationally or strategically think about how to design vaccines that attack different kinds of viruses. One of the areas that we are building is in the area of genomics. Genomes are extremely important. Every single living creature has a genome. In fact, every single living cell in every creature has its own copy of their genome. What we've been doing in this department in collaboration with the BC Cancer Agency's Genome Sciences Centre department is looking at individual tumours from different patients, decoding the genomes of those cancer cells and asking how their genome has changed and what changes uh, might have actually resulted in that tumor. If we look at enough patients, we can uncover the important genes that may be driving the aggressiveness of that tumor and may actually be important for that tumor cell to survive. So that will allow us to actually predict how to treat the patients individually and perhaps design new drugs that may uh, more um, directly kill cancer cells. We have researchers in this department that are studying mo what we call model organisms. Um, these are things like yeast or fruit flies or little worms that live in the soil called C. elegans um, or algae that uh, live out in ponds, pond scum. And these organisms, because of the interrelatedness of all life on Earth, it turns out that we can use these organisms to understand the fundamental properties of life. I think that this is a wonderful place for young people to come. 
in order to become scientists. This department is getting more and more ambitious all the time. Um, there are teams of faculty that are getting together and putting together big proposals. I think we are really on a roll. We find frequently we discover how amazing life is. I'm expecting great things. Mm -hmm.